Could a tiny chip potentially revolutionize the way humans interact with technology? Today we're introducing you to Neuralink, Elon Musk's daring venture that's creating a buzz in the tech world. This isn't just about the next smartphone or virtual reality headset. No, it's a concept that could potentially bridge the gap between humanity and artificial intelligence. It's a leap into the unknown, a journey into a future that's as fascinating as it is uncertain. Dive with us as we explore the realm of Neuralink, a possible future or just science fiction. So, what exactly is Neuralink? Well, Neuralink is a groundbreaking endeavor, an audacious project that Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind companies like SpaceX and Tesla, has embarked upon. It's a neurotechnology company that is developing implantable brain-machine interface devices. The idea might sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel but Musk and his team are working tirelessly to turn it into reality. But let's slow down a bit. What does a brain-machine interface mean? In simple terms, it's a direct communication pathway between an enhanced or wired brain and an external device. Musk's vision is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain that will help humans keep pace with artificial intelligence advancements. This might be a bit to take in, so let's paint a clearer picture. Imagine a future where your brain can communicate directly with machines, without any physical interaction. You think about turning off the lights and they switch off. You want to send a text message, and it's sent without you typing a single word. Sounds fascinating, doesn't it? That's the world Neuralink is striving to create. But why, you might ask, would we want to merge our brains with artificial intelligence? Musk's answer is simple. Survival. He believes that as artificial intelligence becomes more powerful, humans risk becoming irrelevant. By merging with AI we can stay relevant and perhaps even transcend our biological limitations. However, it's not all about keeping up with AI. Neuralink also aims to address neurological disorders, restore sensory and motor function, and eventually achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Musk envisions a future where humans can enhance their cognitive abilities, improve memory, or download skills all through a simple, safe procedure. So what's the bottom line? Neuralink is a daring venture into the unknown, an attempt to bridge the gap between humans and artificial intelligence. It's about more than just keeping pace with AI. It's about augmenting our own capabilities and pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human. In essence, Neuralink aims to create a symbiosis between man and machine. Now that we know what Neuralink is, the question arises, how does it work? In essence, Neuralink functions as a high-bandwidth bi-directional interface between your brain and computers. The process begins with the implantation of the Neuralink chip. The chip is about the size of a coin, and it's surgically implanted into the skull by a precision robot designed to avoid any blood vessels. This chip is then connected to your brain via tiny threads, thinner than a strand of human hair. These threads are equipped with electrodes that can detect and emit electrical signals in the brain. Now the human brain is a complex network of neurons which communicate through these electrical signals. Each neuron is like a tiny computer that processes and transmits information. Neuralink's electrodes can read these signals, interpret the information, and then send it to a computer. The same process can also work in reverse, with the computer sending signals back to the neurons. Imagine this. You're trying to move your hand to pick up a glass of water. Your brain sends out electrical signals through the neurons to your hand. The Neuralink chip can read these signals, understand that you want to move your hand, and then send this information to a computer. The computer can then use this information to control a robotic arm, for instance. But it's not just about reading and interpreting signals. Neuralink could also potentially enhance human capabilities. For example, it could allow us to store memories externally, improve our cognitive abilities, or even enable us to communicate telepathically. The possibilities are vast and exciting. However, it's important to remember that while Neuralink has made significant strides, the technology is still in its early stages. There's a lot we don't yet understand about the brain and how it works, and there are significant ethical and safety considerations to take into account. To put it simply, Neuralink is like a bridge, linking your brain to the digital world. The concept and workings of Neuralink are fascinating, but what can it really do? You might be wondering, well, the potential of this technology is far-reaching, and it's set to revolutionize various sectors in ways we can only begin to imagine. Let's start with medicine. For individuals living with paralysis or neurodegenerative diseases, Neuralink could be a game-changer. Imagine a world where a quadriplegic can operate a computer or a smartphone using just their thoughts. Or consider those suffering from Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. Neuralink has the potential to reverse these conditions, 
restoring memory, movement, and overall quality of life. Now let's move on to communication. Neuralink could redefine how we interact with each other and the world around us. We could potentially communicate our thoughts and feelings directly, bypassing the need for language. This could lead to a level of understanding and empathy previously unheard of, creating an entirely new dimension to human relationships. But it doesn't stop there. Think about entertainment. Virtual reality could become indistinguishable from the real world, with Neuralink transmitting sensory information directly to our brains. Imagine feeling the heat of a virtual sun on your skin or smelling the scent of a digital rose. It sounds like science fiction, but with Neuralink, it could be our reality. And these are just the applications we can foresee. As with any groundbreaking technology, the most exciting uses are likely those we haven't even thought of yet. But of course, such a powerful tool comes with its own set of challenges and ethical considerations. The idea of tapping directly into our brains raises significant questions about privacy, security, and the very nature of our humanity. The road to realizing the full potential of Neuralink is likely to be a long and winding one filled with debate and discovery. The potential of Neuralink is vast, limited only by our imagination. As we continue to explore and push the boundaries of this technology, who knows what incredible breakthroughs lie ahead. As with any groundbreaking technology, Neuralink is not without its controversies. Even as we marvel at the potential of Neuralink, it's crucial to address the ethical and safety concerns that have emerged. These controversies are as diverse and complex as the technology itself. Firstly, there's the question of privacy. With Neuralink potentially having access to our most intimate thoughts and memories, the risk of privacy invasion is a legitimate concern. Critics argue that such technology could be exploited by malicious actors, leading to a dystopian future where our minds are no longer our own private sanctuaries. This ties into the bigger ethical issue of control. How do we ensure that the power of Neuralink is used responsibly? Who gets to decide what constitutes acceptable use of this technology? These are not easy questions, and they demand careful consideration. Then there's the matter of safety. Implanting a chip into the human brain is not a trivial procedure. It carries risks, from infection to potential neurological damage. Critics argue that the long-term effects of Neuralink are unknown, and caution against rushing into widespread use of this technology. Moreover, there's a concern about the potential for socioeconomic disparity. If Neuralink becomes a luxury only the wealthy can afford, it could exacerbate existing social inequalities. The idea of a society divided between those with enhanced cognitive abilities and those without, is a troubling prospect. Despite these controversies, Neuralink is not turning a blind eye. The company is actively engaging with ethicists, neuroscientists, and policymakers to address these concerns. They are working to develop rigorous safety protocols and ethical guidelines. They are also exploring ways to make the technology accessible to all, to prevent a socio-economic divide. In conclusion, while the controversies surrounding Neuralink are real and significant, they are not insurmountable. They represent challenges to be met and overcome, not reasons to abandon this promising frontier. It's clear that as we push the boundaries of what's possible, we must also ensure we're navigating the tricky waters of ethics and safety. Like any frontier technology, Neuralink must navigate the tricky waters of ethics and safety. So, is Neuralink a peek into the future, or just a sci-fi dream? As we've explored in this deep dive, Neuralink is more than just a concept. It's a tangible piece of technology, with a functioning prototype already in existence. It aims to merge human consciousness with artificial intelligence. A concept that, not too long ago was confined to the pages of science fiction novels, is now being brought to life in a Silicon Valley laboratory. We've also touched upon the potential of Neuralink. Imagine a world where paralysis is a thing of the past, where mental health disorders can be managed with precision, and our interaction with the digital world is as seamless as our interaction with the physical one. It's a potential that is both exciting and terrifying, but as with any groundbreaking technology, Neuralink is not without its controversies. Ethical concerns, fears of misuse, and the question of who gets access to this technology are all valid points of contention. They remind us that the path to the future is not always smooth, and that we must tread carefully. And so, we arrive at the question that started our journey. Is Neuralink fiction, or the future? While it's true that much of Neuralink's vision is yet to be realized, it's equally true that this technology is not just a dream, it's a work in progress. Whether Neuralink is fiction or the future, one thing is clear, it has the potential to redefine our relationship with technology. 